Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy and Todd coming at you guys with a brand new video here on the channel. Welcome back. If you guys are new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications so you guys don't miss daily content. Shout out to the people on screen right now. I appreciate you guys for being members of the channel. If you guys want to become a member of the channel, it supports me, it supports the channel and everything like that. All you guys got to do is click that join button right next to the subscribe button or click the link in the description down below and you guys can become a member. I do live streams and they come with loads of benefits benefits so um it's up to you guys but what i got for you guys today as you guys can see by the title as you guys can see by the thumbnail it is back the tokyo expressway they tried patching it it's back as you guys can see i have a 502 pp car um the tomahawk the srt tomahawk 1356 horsepower 2000 pounds and i can do the race so we're going to jump right on into the video. I don't want to waste your guys' time. I'm going to give you guys the build setup, how much money you guys can make, and tips and tricks in this video. So if you guys enjoy, leave a like, share it with your friends, and stay tuned for the word of the day. Let's get into it. All right, so once you guys have your SRT Tomahawk, make your way on over to the detailed car settings, and you guys are going to want to make a new uh, sheet. So go ahead and add a sheet. You guys can name this whatever, 600pp. Uh, I just did 1.13. That's the patch. Um... And I'm going to show you guys that this actually works. So from here, first thing we're going to do is change the tires to racing hard tires. Basically, this is going to help us get the PP that we need. If you don't have racing hard tires on, these are the best tires for that track, stuff like that. So you're going to want to throw racing hard tires on. Once you guys throw racing hard tires on, we're going to come down here on over to the body height adjustment. And we're going to adjust the front to 100 and leave the rear at 90. We're going to leave this um, damping ratio. We're going to want to change the front damping ratio to 32. So change that to 32. Leave the other one at 30. Natural frequency, leave that. Come down to toe angle, and we're going to want to change the front toe angle to 0.15. Leave the rear as 0.20. Now, from here, you are just going to leave that, and we're going to come on over to the aerodynamic side of it all. So, first thing we're going to do is change the ECU down to 70. Now, make sure you guys follow exactly what I'm doing in this order. So, once you guys change the ECU down to 70, go and change the ballast to 196. And once you guys change that to 196, change the blast positioning to negative 50. Once you guys change that to negative 50, go ahead and change the power restrictor down to 70. Now we are going to start with the hardest part of it. You guys really need to make sure you're paying attention for this. So right here, we're going to change the transmission to the fully customizable racing transmission. And we're going to come here to the manual adjustment. Now you guys are going to want to copy the numbers that I do on screen. To copy it exactly how I do it. If you guys need to pause the video at any time, feel free to do that. You're not going to miss anything. So as you guys can see, all these default numbers we're going to want to change all this. If you guys remember the last time we did it, um, the numbers are going to be fairly similar. And we're not going to change it 6th or 7th gear. We're actually going to start with 8th, with 5th gear. And we're going to change it to 0.880. So once we change that to 0 0.880, we're going to go up to the 4th gear and change this one to 1.410. And once you guys change that one to 1.410, you're going to change the 3rd one. And you're just going to max out the 3rd one max out the second one and max out the first one um you are going to get these numbers in the eight to nine range so it you got to max them out a couple times it's kind of confusing if you guys need to follow just just follow what i'm doing on screen so we're going to change the third once again basically max it out and once you guys max it out go ahead and max out the second one it takes a couple times of maxing out before you guys can actually get it so max out the second one and then max out the first one and actually the first one i think we'll be able to get the first number on here so the first number we're going to want to do on the top one is 9.619 and then once we do that we're going to come down to the th second one and we're going to change the second one to 9.186 so change the second gear to 9.186 and once you change second gear to 9.186 we're going to come down to third gear and we are going to change third gear all the way up to 8.673 so once you guys have those all set and ready to go we are good to begin with the next part this is pretty much the build right here guys um we're going to make move this to 8.673 once you do that hit triangle and once you guys hit triangle, you guys can see our new PP is 502.6. So that's the build, guys. Let's jump into the race. 
So if this is your first time doing this race, doing this glitch, um, you're going to make your way on over to World Circuits, come over to Asia, Oceania, go to Tokyo Speedway, scroll all the way to the right, you're going to see this race that gives you 550 grand for coming in first. You're going to select the SRT Tomahawk X and go ahead and start up the race. Now basically the glitch here is that the SRT Tomahawk is not supposed to be 502 horse or PP and it's not supposed to be able to compete in this race. They patch the other methods, um, they patch the other builds but this one as you guys can see is still working i'm gonna give you guys a trick as well but let's get into the word of the day the word today is going to be what is your favorite pizza my favorite pizza is pepperoni pizza um it's just it's the dominant pizza what is your guys favorite pizza let me know down in the comment section down below I'll be sure to heart it and even pin it so right here the first couple times you go around it the track's going to be very very slick and you guys are going to see you're going to be slipping it everywhere but once you guys get used to the track or what i like to do is after the first lap um i like to go throw on rain tires um so you guys can buy that in the shop you guys can throw on rain tires but a good way to do this, and you guys always complain to me it about it in my comment section, is to throw on manual transmission. Now, if you guys don't know how to throw on tra manual transmission, I'll show you guys that in a second. But basically, you guys like to tell me to sit in 7th or 6th gear, and then you won't waste as much gas. So that's a trick, and it actually does work, believe it or not. So I'm going to show you guys me doing that as well. It's just a great way to save gas and not have to stop and wait, and it just makes you able to do the race 10 times faster. So coming around the corner we're going to change it to manual transmission all you guys got to do is hit the pause button and once you guys hit the pause button you're going to go over to settings so right here i'm just going to go ahead and hit pause to change to manual we're going to go to settings assist and we're going to change this to manual now the way to change gears is when you're holding the gas and you hit x you guys are going to gear up now to gear down you have to hit square so as you guys can see you're going to sit in seventh gear if you guys watch my um, fuel you guys can see I'm like halfway through that that last bar already but after two laps I'm halfway through I'm like I finished that full bar so you guys are actually able to finish the race without even having to get gas and that just saves like one to two minutes because <laughs> otherwise they have to sit there and fill you up with gas and you really don't want that so a very very easy way to save yourself time make money now you guys might be asking on Todd, how much money do you make from doing this well the answer to that is going to be eight hundred and twenty five thousand dollars and some people can get this done in 16 minutes so the fastest I've gotten it done, I think, is 18 minutes. So we're just going to give it the benefit of the doubt. We're going to do 60 divided by 18, and that's about 3.3 times. So if we make 825,000 every single time, multiply that, we'll, we'll say by 3.5, all right? You guys can make near nearly 3 million so 2.887 million dollars every hour you guys are doing this it's super simple super easy to do and it is a new build so make sure you guys build this instantly um try it out for yourself let me know if i'm missing anything let me know if you guys find anything and uh, you know i'm missing something um in the comment section down below i'll be sure to pin your comment so that everybody else can see it as well but if you guys did enjoy today's video Make sure you guys have that like button hit. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. And make sure you guys have that post notification bell hit. So you guys don't miss another daily upload. But with all that out of the way, it's been your boy Untied. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this new glitch. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.